If you want to see how I build shells, I suggest that you follow along on this video. I'm going to show you the techniques that I use to build shells out of wood and I believe you'll find that very practical if you are going to do it in your shop. Let's get right to it. The first thing in building shelves is you have to get a straight line and then a board installed to uh, hold the back of your shelf. The way I did this is I took a tape measure and you can do this several ways. You can uh, measure from your ceiling down because that's straight. You know your ceiling square, plumb, level. Or if you're in a house and the floor's level, you can measure up from the floor. You don't need a lot of fancy tools, but I have a four foot level here. And what I did is I measured up from the top of this concrete ledge to the uh, bottom of the board and then I took a chalk line and made a line. You can make your line any way you want. The idea is to get this board, first board, on pretty straight and level. And as I'm looking at this, it's not perfect, but I'll tell you what, for what I'm going to use it for, it is going to be perfect. Now, I didn't cut this for length, as you can see here at the end of the board, uh, because it wasn't sure, and I, and I had trouble measuring in the back, but I'm going to get my saw, and I'm just going to cut this right here. So let me get that set up, and I'll do it. If you have access to some tools, some basic tools you may need is a chalk line, a square, a marker, a level, and a hammer if you're going to nail it. Um, I'm using my $230 hammer. I tested this in a video uh, against a $15 hammer. I was surprised at the results. But those are the basic tools. And now to cut this, all I'm going to do is figure out where I want to, to uh, end my shelf. And I know that this 2x4 16 feet, so somewhere in here, just so that uh, it ends up on this rib since it's higher. So I'm going to cut it right in there somewhere. And all I'm going to do there is take my square and just place it, ah, it doesn't really matter where, right there and make me a line. Then I'm going to get my saw set up and cut that. When cutting something, if at all possible, set your saw for depth. Mine needs to be set down just a little bit. On this saw, it's real easy to do. Just so I'm barely cutting through the woods, what I want. Now, I always like to cut where the piece that is going to fall away is away from my saw. So what I would do is come down like this and cut like that and then that would fall away and you have a less, le lot less chance of uh, that board binding up or kicking back at you. But this is how I'm going to do it. This blade's dull so bear with me. I guess my battery's dead too. Okay, I had that set pretty close. Could go down just a fraction more. Because it didn't quite cut all the way through. Right there. Let's see if that does it. I need to get a battery in here. Yeah. Easy as that.
Okay, what I've done is I went to the local lumber yard and got me some more lumber. And I want this to be 16 inches from here to here. So I can get three pieces of uh, shelving board out of one 4x8 sheet of OSB. Save a little bit on material that way. I cut so this fits exactly three inches less than, or yeah, three inches less than 16. So this is a 13 inch block. I measured from that wall to here and put an eight foot mark. I want this block right in the center. So let's get that piece of shelving and just see if this is gonna fit. I put this up here temporarily just to hold this all in place. I've got another block there, and I have a block at the end. Let me get a shelving board, which I've cut these boards uh, off camera. I bought the uh, non-structural grade OSB, and I'm not sure what I think about that because it, uh, it actually ends up being... What do I want to say? Just a little bit over eight feet and a little bit wider than four feet. So to be exact, that's not going to happen. Let me show you what I got. That, that's going to fit real good. I need to go get me some shorter screws, but I'm going to screw everything in the framing. I nailed that first piece down, but this will all be screwed. This here fits perfectly right here. It's bowed out a little bit back here, but I can push that in. And once it's screwed here and here, that'll hold just fine. This will hold a lot of material. There's the shelf. At least the first one. I'm going to put a, two more up. Just like this. Uh, this turned out pretty good. Just cut a few 2x4s, some OSB, some screws, and a level. I did use a screw gun that came in real handy. It came in real handy. So the first shelf, basically what you see here is what it's going to be. There's not going to be a lot of weight on here. I weigh about 185 pounds and you can see that it's not going anywhere for what I'm going to put on it. Boy, that hurt my belly. Ouch. Shouldn't have done that. There you have it. I'll get the other two built and I'll show you what I got. Well, I got this done, but I got to say it kicked my butt. I'm tired. Got all three shelves up. Uh, you can see how they're framed. I showed you somewhat on this first one and the other two are, are this exactly the same. So uh, we're going to call this project complete. If you have any uh, projects like this that you've done, share them with me. I'd like to hear about it. If you like what I bring you, to you on my channel. I'd encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification button. Let you know when uh, next video is coming up. It's the next day and the reason I waited to finish this is I wanted to show you how I loaded those shells up already and it's just uh, amazing how quickly you can fill shells up. So I started building two more shelves over here. The reason being is I needed more space. I need two more 2x4s to finish them up and then I can load those up. Thanks for watching again. And if you like the channels or the videos that I bring to you, check these two videos out here. Video and a, and a uh, playlist you might be interested in. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.